Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're taking a look at exposure warnings. So if I come over here, I've got an image with a lot of highlights to it, and there is a little triangle button right up here. And if we click that, it is going to highlight in red the areas that are either overexposed or about to be overexposed. If we turn this off, we'll see some areas are still yellow inside of here, but they do give an exposure warning. Now why is that? Well, the the reason has to do with the way that exposure warnings work. So if I come up to preferences, I can see that in here I've got all of these different options and one of them is exposure preferences. Exposure warnings turn on by default at a value of 250. And that is a little bit conservative. If we were to move this, then we would actually get a different value. So let me turn on exposure warnings here. And what we will notice is if I take this, it will give me an exposure warning at different moments when there is a brightness value. Now, why is it 250 as opposed to the top value, which is 255? And the reason is that your imagery has more information in shadows than it does in highlights. In other words, you clip your highlight information more quickly. So let's take a, uh, a dark image here. And if we have exposure warnings turn on, there is no shadow warning. And shadow warnings are actually default turned off inside of Capture One. You'll notice I have to click this little box to turn them on and they show up as blue. And yet I still don't see any. And the reason is by default, it gives a value of zero before it gives a warning as opposed to just before a max value with highlights. Again, the reason is that you can recover shadow information more easily than you can can uh, highlight information. But if I were to turn this on and pull this up, we would be able to see shadow information warnings at a value that I dictate. So that is how shadow and highlight warnings work inside of Capture One. I hope this has been useful and I'll see you next time.